That you, you, some of them that you see, some of them that are failed since, which is part of the, the, the way things work, to convince them to spend three days of their time, basically, with us, uh, fully committed to a program that we've designed, was also a big sell. Uh, and so that was one of the challenges, was actually going, and we had to, we personally uh, pitched, kind of coming to our program, to all these startups, one at a time. So you um, identified startups that you yeah, found interesting, and yeah. you invited them to come in. Yeah, and then we, we actually went to visit them and kind of explained to them what our view for this whole program was going to be and try to convince them one at a time to come. And that was really the hard, it was kind of like then doing this, 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 uh, this initial version, if you will, of the, of the program and kind of trying to prove out the concept, right? And when you were saying companies that have a proven track record of some sort, what were you looking for? People that so, Actually, I mean, uh, ones who at least have released the product, right? Okay. Have released product and have started to get feedback from the market. As opposed to just an idea. Yes. Right? Yeah, no ideas. Because the uh, idea behind the program itself is, one, you're facing real challenges that you want to answer. Okay. Not, you know, theoretical challenges. And two, you started having practical lessons that you yourself can teach other people, right? Yep. Uh, the program is designed to be a lot of content that we give, or actually we bring a few experts that we know uh, and trust, and then a lot of the content is actually you know person to person, peer to peer, um, and we design a lot of things in the program so that uh, um, the founders are relaxed and can share kind of things that are sometimes you know uh, either confidential or kind of like their secret sauce, right? Yeah. Um, so um, yeah, the first program actually went fantastically well. They absolutely loved it. So that kind of like gave us a boost of energy to like, okay, there's something there, right? So this is, you know, the MVP of uh, Astro Labs uh, has uh, caught on. Um, and then we started actually getting, you know, inbound, uh, you know, people interested in taking this program, right? And some people started hearing it, uh, yeah, about it from others. It's a three day program? It's, uh, now we do it between two and three days. Uh, we vary it depending on the group that uh, we uh, give it to. We're giving as uh, less often now that because we felt we, you know we're covering a lot of the startups in the region. I mean, the region is not you know producing that many. It's uh, only online mobile companies, right? Uh, it's not producing enough online mobile companies to actually be able to take them into the program. It quickly switched to having too many applications, so we started becoming you know selective. We having inbound applications, uh, VCs wanting to send their portfolio companies to the program, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So the second program was in Lebanon. Then we did. Uh, so yeah, we've actually Cairo. taken it across. That's been one of the real fun parts about it, honestly, has been we started here, and that was through our networks and trying to get see what's happening in Dubai. But the, the really, uh, over, over two years, basically, we've taken the program now um, through, as, as Lewis is saying, uh, Lebanon, Jordan, Egypt, uh, multiple cities in Saudi Arabia, and here with about 150 different startups. So seeing a lot of the challenges that they're facing, hearing them interact at a deep level as well. Oh, you know, well, on, on you know, interacting with, the, for instance, customer service issues. Like we go through this whole module on how, de how to use different tools and, and uh, what experiences they've each had with dealing with customers and all that with a variety of different businesses. We learn so much each program. So we go in and say, oh, wow, in Saudi, like, you know, uh, the, the the use of, of social for customer service and the way that people are doing, you know, even on WhatsApp and all of this to, re to resolve issues with their customers is like, you know, so different than what we're used to, right? So that was a lot of the, the fun of what kept us as well, like kind of going on the road uh, because it's really hard to, although Dubai pulls in a lot of people and it has that very unique element to it, you can't get that kind of gathering like as going into Cairo you know, and, and really inviting and going to their sort of center and co-working space and inviting in some of the, the most interesting startups to attend, you get them all to come. And so you get a really good experience of, of interacting with them and learning from them too. So that's, that's been a, a, a huge uh, uh, fun part of uh, actually what we've, we've done over the last couple of years. You mentioned now that you have 150 startups. Yeah, so this, the SOS program has uh, gone through 150 startups or 150 startups went through uh, okay. SOS. And then out of SOS, kind of like the idea of, you know, uh, the Astrobs Academy, uh, what we call now for our, you know, umbrella of all the educational programs that we do. So uh, SOS was the first program was targeted at founders. Then founders were like, okay, now you told me how to, you know, do digital marketing, but I need help. And I cannot find anyone that uh, actually executes digital marketing for, for me. 
um, we start digital marketing classes, uh, right? So we do a lot of classes on all the different channels in digital marketing, digital marketing strategy, we do classes on uh, you know, Google Analytics and all this stuff. And the idea is without this kind of talent that knows these skills, um, the ecosystem will not grow, right? Um, one, the startups need them, but actually uh, the whole ecosystem needs them. E even bigger companies are asking for you know, their uh, teams to be taught uh, these skills, right? Um, unfortunately, the educational system in the region, globally actually, teaches you know, old school marketing, you know, the five P's and the three C's and whatever, and you cannot really apply it when like, okay, you're in front of the screen, you need to optimize the Facebook campaign. Okay, how do I use that, right? So um, that's basically what we focus on, very practical kind of skills uh, in digital. Okay, you're saying that you um, address a lot of problems as they come up, but I'm sure there are some very common ones that keep coming up. Can mm -hmm. you share some of those? Yeah, so I mean, so that's... another way of asking the barriers to entry. Yeah, so, so in some of the academy programs that Lewis is just hinting towards are actually designed around that. So just to give you an example, we ran an academy program uh, right here uh, about a week ago on fundraising because we heard a lot of different startups asking questions about fundraising that are deeper than 